First look at ZTE My OS based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at ZTE My OS based on Android 11 running on the POCO F1. The kernel they are using is Genos kernel security patches from August 2021. SE Linux is enforcing out of the box. So this is how the ROM comes out of the box. Let us have a look at the volume panel. This is how the volume panel looks like. You do have options to switch between the different ringer modes. Have a look at the quick settings panel. Bam, here it is. This is how your quick settings panel is going to look like in case you want to edit it. You can of course edit it and add more tiles if needed. Next up, let us go back to the home screen. Have a look at the power menu. So bam, this is how your power menu is going to look like and this is ZTE's own launcher so you can of course customize a little bit if I press and hold go into settings here and you have different options and the option which I am using right now is the first one which says home screen and all apps so here and I have a home screen and application drawer if you do not want the application drawer choose the second option and the third one is in case you want to have large icons then you can customize what you want to do when you swipe down on the home screen notification drawer or search and you also have some other customization options unfortunately you do not have the option of your google feed but you can configure the animation when you switch between the different home screens as well so go into effects bam here it is you do have a bunch of different options available as for the recents bam here it is this is how the recents look like and as you can see there are no jitters and no lags you do have a kill all button at the bottom and if you tap on the three dot menu in the recents you have the option of application info and lock the app and this option here is for split screen next up let us open the application drawer have a look at the different apps which come baked in so for play store you have to join their group and install the apk manually that's all you need to do magisk device is pre-rooted out of the box and in case you want to unroot you can rename the magisk apk as uninstall.zip flash it in your recovery and you should be good to go for safety net you have to enable magisk hide and once you have enabled magisk hide your safety net is going to pass also make sure that you enable magisk hide for the google play store as well and once you do that you should have the play store certified so let us go into the google play store and here and we can go into settings about here it is play protect certification devices certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues next up let us head over to the settings app so bam here it is this is how the settings app is going to look like and the ui is pretty colorful let us go into the option of home and lock screen so here in again you have the same home screen settings which we talked about earlier then you also have something called zte locker so this is going to have a new wallpaper on your lock screen every time you lock and unlock you can use that always on display is there works without any issues does look pretty dope let us give it a try and of course you can customize it in case you want to display it for 10 seconds after touching the screen always show or you want a schedule so here it is always on display enabled working without any issues double tap to wake unfortunately is broken on this build right now and as you can see i do have a pin setup fingerprint is super fast as well then you also have something called lock screen settings so here in you do have different lock screen clock styles and in case you want to see the pedometer and dual clock along with lock screen signature you have customization options for all of those next option we have in settings is notification and status bar so what all content do you want to see on your lock screen do you want to wake the lock screen for new notifications then what are the notification badges you want to see do you want to see a number or do you want to see a dot and you can also configure your notification badges on a per app basis then you can configure your notifications for 
all the applications which are installed what about the battery percentage you have customization for that along with seeing your network traffic indicators and in case you want to see only the notification count in your status bar you do have a toggle for that as well go into advanced here and you do have your priority conversations notifications on the lock screen customization and a toggle to enable or disable sensitive notifications when your device is locked what i see missing over here is your notification history next up we have display so in display we do have the brightness slider along with the toggle for automatic brightness working without any issues dark mode is there you can turn it on right away or you can set a schedule for your dark mode as well then you have reading mode again do you want to turn it on for the entire device or do you want to turn it on for specific applications then you have night light turn it on right away set a schedule for it you have sliders to configure your blue light filter and reduce the white point as well then you can change the color temperature as well again working without any issues then you have full screen display settings so whatever apps you want to see in full screen you do have toggles for all those applications you can change your screen timeout you can configure the text and display size as well along with the toggle for auto rotate screen and you also have a toggle for something called motion so with this feature turned off the motion of some user interface will be eliminated or reduced next up we have sound and vibration so here in you do have sliders for all the different options which you see on your screen right now then what is the default volume button control you can switch between ring volume and media volume then you have sound mode as well ring vibrate or or silent what do you want to do in ring mode never vibrate vibrate or vibrate and then increase it gradually you have a auto mute media volume as well switch to silent vibrate again what do you want to do when you press volume up and power together what about the ringer in silent mode you have your do not disturb do you want to see your media player in your quick settings panel or not going to ringtones you can configure the ringtones on a per sim basis then you have your hi-fi mode as well along with configuring the toggles for different options like screenshot sound touch sound touch vibration ringtone fade in next up we have sync mind so in sync mind you do have some ai functions 5g of course the device is not 5g capable no point looking into that you have something called ai system engine wherein you can configure your system running speed up the cache and all those things next up you have something called z smart sidebar so once you enable this you can of course configure the floating bar opacity and this is the floating bar they are talking about going to settings you can configure what all applications you want to open in floating window bam here it is magisk open in floating window working without any issues then of course you have quick reply in floating window as well and you have something called intellitouch wherein if you press two fingers it is going to search so let us give this feature a try let me open the chrome application and here and let us press the two fingers and hold on this mouse to see if the feature kicks in or not let me try it one more time there it is you can see the feature did kick in but unfortunately it is in Chinese it did give me some stuff in English but majority of it is in Chinese but then again I think this is something very similar to what we have with Google lens then you have your phone use balance so this is your digital well-being and stuff you can see your usage for that specific day last seven days go into any application you can limit the usage as well next up we have features so here and of course you have your system navigation you can choose between the three button navigation or your gestures then if you try to configure your gestures you have something called z voice avoid mistyping typing by swipe you can configure the sensitivity and if you want the pill option you have a toggle for that as well then you have your z pop and this once you enable this you will get this option of a back arrow you can customize this like what is the default option you want when you press this by default it is set to back and if i swipe like this it should give me the option of the different options which are showing up bam there it is so now i can like lock my device go to the home screen and different mm -hmm. options as well then you have your app duplicator or dual apps screen edge prevention or screen edge mistouch prevention mention is also there along with your screen recorder now do note you cannot record internal audio and microphone at the same 
time going to gesture and motion again double tap to wake is broken on this build right now as you can see double tap to wake does not work the fingerprint as i mentioned earlier is super fast the only downside is that there is no fingerprint authentication vibration three finger screenshot let us give that a try to see if it is working and nope, three finger screenshot is also not working so i think most of the options in this gesture and motion might be broken and then you can schedule your power on and power off next up we have password and security so here you can of course configure your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock again do note face unlock does not use the ir camera it uses the normal camera on the front then you also have something called private space so here then you can have your private pictures videos files passwords etc you also have app lock again all these features are working without any issues so you can lock the applications which you do not want anybody to have access to next up we have apps so in apps if i tap on see all applications go into any application which requires access to location you will notice i have three different options for location access then other than that you have your default applications so you can configure your default apps from here and you also have a permission manager for per app permission control moving over to battery you do have a pretty cool looking animation over here and i haven't noticed any excessive battery drain you have toggles for power saver and ultra power saver now both of these options do let you know how much time you are going to get once you enable these toggles and you also have your battery usage chart along with more settings wherein you can enable dark mode to save power a toggle for battery percentage is also present next up we have storage so again a cool looking animation shows you what all stuff is eating space on your device and in case you want to clear stuff out this is where you can do so next up you have the option of system and update so here then you do have google keyboard baked into the rom out of the box and developer options are also there as for the app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now you can see everything is pretty smooth no jitters and no lags in terms of the recents again everything is pretty smooth no jitters no lags in the recents now with respect to the youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture works as long as you have youtube premium or you are in a specific country live caption unfortunately is not there with respect to your google photos you get original quality or storage saver original quality will count against your account storage storage saver will be unlimited at reduced quality let us check if we get the feature of portrait light or not so let me try to edit a picture of my favorite football star over here and see if the option is available or not wait for this loading bar to finish and once that is done let us go into tools portrait light bam here it is portrait light feature is there working without any issues of course assistant lady is not present on this specific build so what is the final take on this new my os from zte for the poco f1 well all in all the rom is pretty smooth i haven't noticed any drain of battery or any jitters or any lags let us open chrome as well and see there it is you can see everything is smooth and fast so those of you who do like to try out new roms this should be on your list to try out if you want to and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you